everybody. Okay, so today I thought that I would share with all of you how to use a pendulum. Um, here is one that I'm using. Um, so yeah, I just kind of want to share how do you use a pendulum, when would you use a pendulum, and even how does it work, because it's not really like this mystical thing like you might think it is. Um, okay, so first of all, let's talk about how the pendulum works. There is a thing, a term, <laughs> there we go, there is a term called idiomotor response. There's Lupi. Hi, Lupi. Okay, so there's a thing called an idiomotor response, and this is used um, in hypnotherapy a lot in order to communicate with the subconscious of your um, client while they are um, under hypnosis. And what it is, is usually the, you'll have the client with their hands in their lap, and once you have the person hypnotized, the hypnotherapist would then be speaking to the subconscious and they would say, you know, by using your fingers, give me a sign for yes. And the client's finger will move, you know, it may be the, this hand, pointer finger will move and that will signify yes. And then they'll say, you know, what is, show me the symbol for no. And it may be this pointer finger for no. I feel like my hands look really big at this angle. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really anything weird. It's you're still talking to the person's brain. You're just talking to their subconscious and their subconscious is sending those little neurons and sending those uh, signals to the fingers to move to symbolize yes and no. And then in that way, the hypnotherapist can, you know, talk to the person's subconscious and the person can stay completely hypnotized and just speak by using their fingers. It's kind of cool. It relates, it's all science. <laughs> like I said, the neurons from the brain firing to the fingers, and all of this can happen subconsciously. And so that is how ba -ba -da -ba, the um, pendulum works. It's essentially you getting idiomotor, idiomotor responses from yourself, from your subconscious. So basically, it's not really it's not this like mystical thing. <laughs> so when would you use it? You would use the pendulum when you know that you probably have that answer somewhere within you. It's just you can't figure it out. Um, so it could be, you know, should I go on this trip on Friday? Yes or no. Should I go on this trip on Saturday? Yes or no. Because maybe you're, you just don't know. I don't know. Consciously, you're like, I'm struggling. I don't know if I should go on this trip on Friday. But your subconscious mind knows what it wants to do. So you could use the pendulum for that and figure out what your subconscious wants. Um, I do this a lot <laughs> with like life decisions when it's, because you, you can feel it. You can feel when your, your body and your mind knows the answer and your conscious mind, your ego is just not letting your intuition and your subconscious mind speak. So that's when it is good to pull this out. So you can use it for, um, you know, like I said, life decisions, maybe not like crazy major ones. You can use it for crazy major ones. But basically, anytime you need to tap into that subconscious of yours and get some clarity. Um, another way you could use it is to choose tarot cards. You can lay out your tarot cards and, you know, hold the pendulum over the tarot cards in whichever way your pendulum swings over a particular card. That can be the card that you choose. Again, this is more just, it's a tool to tap into your intuition. It's a tool to tap into your subconscious. Um, you're not like channeling anything weird. You're not channeling spirits and demons and all these weird things. You're literally just using this tool to communicate to your subconscious and to your own intuition. Um, all right, so how does it work? You can use a pendulum like I have here. It's a chain. This is a clear quartz and copper pendulum. Um, you can use one. There's chains with a crystal hanging on it. Essentially anything that is on a string or a chain with a weight on it. Um, you know, long ago people would tie a string with a ring on it and you can hold it over a woman's belly to see if they're having a boy or a girl. Um, so that could work too if you don't have a pendulum. Um, but this is what I have. So basically what I like to do is you hold it in between your thumb and your forefinger. I use my dominant hand for this. And I like to set my elbow on a table. Hopefully you can see that. Um, just that way it, I mean, because it can get kind of tiring holding your arm up like this. <laughs> so number one, it's easy just to have your arm resting. Um, but then number two, it also just helps to kind of stabilize your arm so you aren't like all wiggly crazy. And what you want to do is you want to try 
This is where it gets interesting. You want to try to keep it steady, but your subconscious mind will send those neurons firing and your subconscious mind will, you know, trigger your fingers or your arms to make slight movements that your conscious mind isn't even aware of. So while you are consciously thinking, okay, I'm holding this still, I'm holding it still, your subconscious mind is telling your hand or your arms, okay, move it this way. So what you would do is you would hold it up and you would say, uh, show me what yes means. And again, you just sit there and you hold it, trying not to move it, but you'll see it'll start to move. And you can even, if you think you're like making it move, sometimes I'll close my eyes and wait a minute until I really feel it starting to swing, and then I'll open my eyes. Sometimes it takes a minute. Um, but yeah, so I said, show me yes. So it should start swinging. Usually yes for me, there it goes, is counterclockwise. So it's starting to move counterclockwise. So then once you know what your yes symbol is, for you it could be clockwise, it could be back and forth, it could be side to side. But for me, yes is swinging in a counterclockwise circle. And then you would say, show me no. And again, try to keep your mind or your arm still. Consciously, you'll be trying to keep it still, but your subconscious will be doing the work. And then there it goes, starting to spin clockwise for no, because that's what my subconscious decided means no is clockwise. And so that's all you would do. So, um, you know, if you were trying to get a job, should I go for this promotion? And, you know, you, you don't know. You have no idea what you're thinking, what you're feeling. You can y yank out, yank out your pendulum. That sounds really dirty. <laughs> you can take out your pendulum and ask, you know, should I go for this promotion and see whichever way it swings. So, you know, maybe it swings no, maybe it swings yes. And there you have your answer. So, again, it really isn't anything like crazy, weird, mystical. It really is just you using a tool to access your subconscious and your intuition. Um, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I would love to answer. Um, I'm going to put all my contact information here in the description. So yeah, follow me on other social media. Let's connect, everybody. All right, I'll talk to all you later. Many blessings. Bye.